hi in this video we will discuss about uh, the obesity and why obesity is not a uh, genetic uh, but it is due to the influence of your uh, influence of your environment like what you eat and when you eat that is a problem which that will lead to cause obesity that is that means the high amount of fat storage in your body so some people have but some people don't so what is the main reason behind it first of all we will understand about so in this other some people prefer more glucose because mm, they feel more hungry so remember that when they feel more hungry they will eat more sugar to absorb sugar into the adipocyte due to the spike of insulin and that is the physiology and in this way the insulin when spike will go and in this way the adipocyte will be uh, increased so the increase of the adipose tissue as well as the fast uh, the lipids will be entered into the uh, adipocyte will lead to cause the uh, uh, lipid hyperlipidemia in the blood circulatory system as well as into the adipose tissue so the normal amount should be the 15 percent fat should be in your uh, body uh, by the measurement of the fat uh, fat uh, percentage in this way some people can decrease more and some people uh, will unable to decrease because they think about this is genetic and we can't do uh, something so in this way we will discuss about it is just a uh, if you think about it is genetic but some people have but some people know what is the main purpose and what is the main reason behind this uh, this uh, problem so in this way we will discuss basically when you will eat sugar you will feel hungry because more spike of insulin so you can fix it through uh, insulin uh, buffering a diet like fat like fibers like a salad which that's contain a complex carbohydrate will not release into the blood stream easily but slowly and you don't use the refined sugar like a pizza or burger or other things or sugary material like candy and a lot of things and you will not if add the fat with uh, sugar so that will be work that is known as the ketogenesis so in your body the keto adaptation is required by your own self not your uh, uh, without uh, it is your genetic but some people have because there is the thyroid gland produce more thyroxine and trihydrothyronine tri which that will increase the metabolism but the genetic is that the metabolism in the passage of time when you will more aging so obesity ultimately will occur it is the 100% uh, about that 100% uh, surety about that you can uh, you can increase the fat with the passage of time because your metabolism will, will be low but in the normal person the metabolism depend on the metabolism when your metabolism low due to the genetics you will eat more and more and deposition of fat as a energy storage will occur and that is should be consumed so in this way when you will fasting so your genetic will not work when you will fast in this way your body fat will be decreased and the ketogenesis will be increased and that is why the lipolysis will increase due to the fasting and decrease of the insulin spike and in this manner when you will go into the ketogenesis in this way increase of the uh, uh, lipolysis glycogenolysis as well as the consumption of sugar more and on the other hand the uh, uh, adipose tissue decrease and uh, on the other hand important things you should need to understand the uh, ketogenesis will increase the uh, lipid in your blood when increase the cholesterol level lipids which that is used for the synthesis of cholesterol in the liver and go into the test to produce more testosterone and the growth hormone release because the insulin is going to down but the growth hormone will be increase so the growth hormone will increase due to the decrease of the insulin during the fasting so in this way the insulin basically decrease basically insulin is also anabolic but it deposit the fat deposit the sugar into the cell and glycogenesis will occur but the growth hormone will grow your body 
will also use as a insulin like insulin like growth factor enhancement into the liver and muscle look like a um, basically uh, look like a, uh, insulin but remember about that things obesity will create due to the insulin but the growth hormone will decrease because growth hormone also target to the lipolysis and inhibit the lipogenesis and inhibit the appetite so you will not feel hungry no uh, lo uh, uh, no more uh, and in this way you feel satiety and in this way on the other hand the growth hormone will increase will lead to grow and smart your body as well as decrease the fat it means the fat burning process due to the growth hormone and on the other hand important thing you should need to understand the hormone sensitive lipase will be increased due to the growth hormone will lead to lipolysis but on the other hand one important thing is the cholesterol will be rise obviously when uh, lipolysis will occur and the lipid going to the blood stream but beta oxidation also increase and the ketones body will produce more which that rather than the production of glucose and that is the energy source uh, or during the ketogenesis and the keto adaptation so that is the process in this way intermittent fasting as well as the fat, high fat but decrease the carbohydrate and protein will not spike the insulin and that is why you will lose your body fat but I want to say that the testosterone will also rise during the intermittent fasting because lipolysis increase the cholesterol and cholesterol will go into the uh, testes the testes will produce more testosterone dihydrotestosterone will target to the different tissue to grow your muscle and grow everything so that is okay and you will feel okay and you will grow like a masculine and more attractive and in the, on the other hand the smartness due to the uh, due to the testosterone will be more and growth hormone will be more so that is a simple science behind it and in this way you can understand as well basically the obesity is not a genetic but your influence uh, your environmental influence will lead to cause epigenetic mutation so, so the epigenetic is not genetic in this way you are going to adapt for the storage of fat in the form of adipose tissue so that is you can reverse it if it's genetic so how can you reverse it the genetic will never possible to reverse but the epigenetic can be reversed so that is why uh, many people who are uh, losing their fat that is why the epigenetic mu mutation the epigenetic changes which that will lead to decrease the obesity due to the diet exercise and sleep habit which that will lead to uh, cause the uh, fat loss and in this way you get more smarter and that is why that is the main reason behind it basically no genetics and you can lose that fat that is why important thing you should need to understand basically when you decrease the fat due to the diet it means no genetics no anything but some people have genetic it means some people without uh, basically uh, hormone sensitive lipase enzyme or something they are different issue but for normal person it is no genetic work but the work with your hard work with your exercise and your everything that will be clear in this time so I hope you make sense about that. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. And I am also making the handwritten tutorial about the biology and biological bio, biomedical science and other things you can learn from that if you are a student or expert, so you can learn. So I hope you make sense. Next video, we will understand about the another topic. For this time, thanks for watching. Bye.